Hi, welcome back to our videos. I'm Peter Loach. This is our daily pitching preview show. Right now, we're taking a look at the cards on Saturday, June 27th. And, of course, our regular guest is long-time successful professional handicapper Joe Duffy, who comes to us from offshoreinsiders.com. Joe Duffy, pick. Joe Duffy, how's baseball season going for you? It's been going tremendous, and I will say I'm often asked what is my best sport. I, I honestly say it's pretty much all of them. The biggest gap between me and the rest of the industry is, is baseball. So few guys can do is make a full-time living picking and betting picks during baseball season. I'm on that short list. So if you're betting baseball, you either better bet my picks or just you know, bet on your own because there's very few handicappers who can win in baseball, and I'm on that short list. Well, the first game I want to ask you about is uh, Seattle at the Angels, right? Garrett Richards is pitching well. He got up he got up to kind of a uh, shaky start in the beginning of the year, but he has good mentality. He's quoted as saying that he was going to bounce back, and he is pitching a lot better, and I feel like he's focused and, and, and has a live arm right now. I like his mentality. I think he has a lot of upside, and J.A. Happ, you know, he hasn't been bad, but he's progressing a bit, and he's been significantly worse on the road this year. Richards hasn't really been lights up, but I'm thinking maybe there's a big pitching edge for the Angels here. What do you think? He has settled down. Uh, last three are quality starts, as Major League Baseball defines that after he was drilled four um, starts ago. And J.A. Happ, we've been talking about him again. He's not necessarily falling off the cliff, so to speak, but he hasn't been pitching as well exactly as he said. He's definitely one of those guys who doesn't pitch as well on the road. And perhaps most importantly, to put it over the top, he is 0-3 with a 9.82 ERA versus the Angels. So with uh, Garrett Richards kind of trending in the right direction, half kind of trending in the wrong direction, not a great road pitcher and somebody who's always struggled against the Halos, Garrett Richards certainly got a pitching advantage there. Okay, and then John Day. You know, uh, sometimes he has a start that's a little bit better than expected, but basically he's got nothing right now, right? I think you would agree with that. Maybe you wouldn't. You know, on the road at Detroit, gay game, Tigers have that big lineup. He might get crushed here, right? Very likely. We've been talking about him, like I was saying, you know, Danks is pretty much stanks. He's p- playing at a, uh, a pretty decent team. Going against Kyle Ryan, who hasn't really been uh, exactly lights out himself. He's got a seven point. 5.90 ERA, so I would expect a lot of runs there. But at the same time, look, uh, if there's ever a case where the, the White Sox aren't a that big of a pitching disadvantage when it comes to Banks pitching, it would be here because neither one of these pitchers have been all that great. But Banks has been, uh, you know, pretty pretty rough overall and pretty rough recently, and there really seems to be no end in sight for Banks. He's just not a very good pitcher. Yeah, and I'm guessing that this line, if Kyle close at nine and a half, maybe even ten, but I'm guessing that you might see a nine on the opener. What do you think? Like a nine over minus one twenty? Uh, you're probably going to see it a little bit lower than that. Really? So uh, the over is a definite possibility. And then Masahiro Tanaka, right? What do we expect from him? Three straight awesome starts off the disabled list. And he got crushed in his last start. Now he's here on the road at Houston. What do we expect from Tanaka, Joe Duffy? Yeah, Tanaka, I know, is one of these pitchers that you do love. Look, he's, he's going to be pitching against a quality team, so not the easiest situation to bounce back from the, the uh, Astros. I've been waiting for them. Admittedly, you know, the Astros, I wrote them early in the year, and every time they go on a losing streak, I think they're going to come back down to earth. But they have proven me wrong after being very nice to me in the first month of the year. Uh, they've been so-so to me recently. But the yeah, the Astros a team that just continues to win, so not a very good spot. And then let me ask about Andrew Kastner, right? It wasn't that long ago that Kastner was uh, one of the better guys in the league that you wanted to either bet on or bet unders when he started. But right now, it's just looking like he doesn't have it at all, even when he's at home against relatively weak lineups. I mean, here he's going to be at home against Arizona. Normally, that would be a pretty uh, favorable situation for him. But even at home, he's getting hit. And Hellickson on the other side, definitely far from great, but he seems like a full notch less sucky than Caster. Uh, you know, when you're analyzing statistics and you see something like what Caster's been doing recently as opposed to what he did earlier in his career, do you think Caster is uh, going to get hit again here despite the fact he's going up against a relatively weak lineup in a pitcher-friendly park? Most likely, it's he'll, he'll get knocked around. His ERA was uh, 2.89 on May 22nd. Now it's 4.35. Now you can kind of look at this either way. The one team he's had some success against is Arizona. He's already faced them three times, 2.65 ERA, but when a pitcher is is trending downward, you like to think that each time that a team looks at them, they get more and more of an advantage. That's always kind of the, the thought that the more a team sees of a pitcher, the more advantageous it is for the team itself. So fourth time could be a charm, and based on the way that Kastner has been pitching as of late, 
I do think that the Arizona should be able to get to them, although they've done uh, poor. They haven't really done all that well in the first three games against them, but I do think fourth time should be a charm. Okay, and then we have two guys making their second major league starts, each coming off of uh, an excellent start in their first start. What do we expect in their second start? We need your insights here. Joe Duffy, talking about Adam Morgan uh, at home for Philadelphia against Washington, and Cody Anderson to be on the road uh, against Baltimore. And the big difference, though, is that Cody Anderson uh, had been pitching well in the minors while Adam Morgan was getting hit. So I guess if you look at their minor league uh, results, maybe you'd expect more of a regression from uh, Morgan here than Anderson. What do you think? Yeah, Morgan, ironically enough, he was the first Phillies pitcher, starting pitcher, that is, in 25 games to actually pick up a win uh, as far as the decision is concerned. But look, the Phillies, they continue to have to go with young players. They're clearly one of the worst teams in baseball. So what the things they're going to do is rush some guys up mm-hmm. to see what they have. Uh, Morgan, I would not bet on him being consistent by any stretch of the imagination. And, you know, Washington has been, a, you know, kind of a minor disappointment this year, but this is really a chance to to, uh, to really catch up. In the case of Washington, it's not like they're going to be caught off guard playing at a very bad team because Washington hasn't completely lived up to all the preseason billings. But then again, you know, Washington would have to win about 70% of their games to really leave, uh, live up to all the preseason expectations. They're probably a very good spot for the Nationals on the road. All right, well, that's all I wanted to uh, get to from Saturday, June 27th. We've also got uh, Michael Watson starting, Clayton Kershaw starting, Tim Winston starting. Is there anything else you want to bring to our attention uh, from the card on Saturday that might point up towards betting value, Joe Duffy? That's what we're looking for here. Well, a guy that I know you've mentioned a few times, Charlie Morton, I have him scheduled to pitch for the Pirates in three road starts, 9.25 uh, ERA and 1.84 whip. But now he pitches at home, where in three starts he's got a .84 ERA and a .89 whip. So as far as somebody with six games under his belt, uh, those are pretty pronounced home road splits and probably something that I will, at the very least, take a much longer look at when I'm making my pick. But I already had that penciled in as a possible advantage there. And, uh, you know, Michael Waka is really one of the more bizarre statistics. He's one of the few guys in baseball who doesn't enjoy facing Philadelphia. He's, he's got a 7.59 ERA against them this year. Luckily, he's not. But against every other team in Major League Baseball, he's 8-2 with a 2.20 ERA. So, Waka, of course, you're never going to get fantastic value with him, but it looks like he seems to dominate every team in Major League Baseball other than the Philadelphia Phillies. So it might be a good spot to bet on him. All right. Thanks so much, Joe.